Hey everyone, Shireen here with some exciting news. I have been invited to participate in a YouTube hop titled Scrapping Queens of 2013. This group is organized by Tamika, who is Scrap the World, Betty, who is Scrap Passion 01, and Markeisha, who is Staple M1. They have invited tons of talented women to participate in this YouTube hop. And I want to say first and foremost, I am honored and flattered to be invited and included in this, um, in this hop. Now this hop, before I, I want to share with you what I created for the hop, but before I do, there's some important things you will want to know. Number one, if you started with me by chance, you want to go back to the beginning and start with Tamika and go all the way through to everyone's um, channel. I have everyone's information and it's in the description box below. Reason being, if you visit every single channel and leave a comment on every single channel, you will receive, you have the opportunity to win three amazing prizes from Betty, Tamika, and Markeisha. Also, as you visit each um, lady's channel, each um, there's at least six people um, I know of, including myself, that's seven, that's also offering uh, YouTube candy. So, you, But the requirements uh, may be different. Everyone has different rules of how to win their things. So make sure you visit everyone's channel and find out what the requirements are. And be sure to, make, be sure to leave every channel a comment on their project and what you think about the Scrapping Queens of 2013's projects. Okay, so having said that, let's get started and I'll share with you what I created. So right now I'm showing you a piece of paper from the Marion Smith um, Romance Novel Paper by Prima. And I used it to create my project. And here it is. I think it came out so lovely. Um, it's an altered wooden box that I purchased from Michaels, you know, the unfinished wood. I painted the entire thing black. I used the Romance Novel Paper here, here and I mod podged it on. I have some Chinese braid trim, you know, on top and bottom, and I have a pink lace peeking out underneath. Over here, I have this gorgeous floral arrangement. This is a lace fabric flower that was created by my friend Leslie, and she has this beautiful um, flower center here, the per flat back pearl with the buckle, the studded buckle. These are Wild Orchid Craft pink flowers here, top and bottom. The green one here, I shimmer missed it. They're from I Am Roses, they're Cabbage Roses. And I just misted them um, with my homemade shimmer mist. The little rose buds are also from I Am Roses. And then I just have some little ball sprays there. I have this beautiful plaque here that says Dream Big. And that was purchased from Sock Crafters Store. Across the top, I have Recollections Bling going across the front. And I have some on the sides as well. And then I have a mesh bling trim going all the way around the perimeter of the lid. Okay, and I'm just going to stand up slowly. So you can see the sides. And, of course, both sides look the same, so you just need to see that. Then on the top, I have another flower made by Leslie. And you can see the detail on this. It's so pretty. It's a very soft uh, mint green. And then she has a flower center that was inspired by Fiona. And then she also has this gorgeous uh, feather here on the back and a stick pin. So thank you, Leslie, for these beautiful fa um, fabric or lace flowers. I love them. And then over here, I just have a, a photo frame. Um, and this is a gift for my niece. She's turning 16, and these are her favorite colors. So I um, made it for her, so she can add her picture to the frame later. There's another Wild Orchid Craft on Rose here, a cameo, a fabric flower, this vintage-looking mirror. Um, it's really nice. It was hard to part with that. And then I have some recollection spling. And, of course, more of the papers um, mod podged on the top. So that is my project. I think this box turned out gorgeous. I totally love it. And um, I hope she does too. Tell me what you think. Make sure you leave me a comment so you can be entered in the, the mega giveaway. And then I am going to move you. So I'm going to cover the screen up for a moment. Because I too am offering YouTube candy. And let me share with you what you can win for me. Okay, let's just let that focus for a moment. There we go. All right, so I'm going pretty fast here, guys. I only have like two or three minutes left to film this. So you're going to win some um, stickles, or not stickles, Studio G glitter glue. I have a Michaels frame that you can alter if you don't like the silver color. I have some alphabet brads, a complete set. And then um, the vowels, there's two of every vowel in here. Get some tags, one that says, thanks for being you. And one that's blank, so you can add your own sentiment. Have these gorgeous pearl brass centers. 
I mean brads. You can use them for flower centers or however you may choose. This Michaels wood stamp. You can add a sentiment on the paper that he's holding. And I know everyone's getting into mixed media, so I have these brass um, butterfly stencil that you can use. I have some um, bling flourishes that I purchased from Sock Crafters Zivit Store. It's two per pack. You'll get them in pink, brown, and black. You'll also get this six pack, six pack of acetate frames from Recollections. Some trichol lace is um, satin and lace um, combined. Really pretty. Sorry, I'm going so fast, guys. I'm just trying to beat the clock, the timer here. You'll receive a pack of this um, shabby treasure. It's blue and white, uh, twelve pack, six by six paper. A chipboard album five pages here and finally you will get a spellbinders die and this is the um, labels too okay so what do you need to do to win this all you need to do is make a video response um, you know promoting the Queens of 2013 basically telling everyone that um about the block hop oh, sorry keep calling it the block hop let everyone know about the YouTube hop make the video link it back to this video and then you'll be entered to win um, these goodies. So thanks for watching, everyone. Um, please leave me some feedback. Tell me what you think of my project. And if you're interested in winning these items, um, just make a, uh, a video response. That's all you have to do. All right. And you don't have to talk or anything. You can just do words on the screen because I know some of you guys are shy about that. Um, so you can just say, you know, Prop Mommy is participating in a, a, a YouTube hop, you know, and just mention the names, Scrapping Queens of 2013. All right, and link it back to this video, and I'll put you in to enter, um, in, enter you to win this giveaway. Um, the blog will stay open until I find out when the hop closes. Sorry, the hop will remain open until I find out when it closes, and then I'll just mark it closed, and then I'll go ahead and announce the winner. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye.